Thank you, Senator McCain. Thank you for uh, that kind of introduction. Uh, let me first say something about Senator. Nah, I'm going to say something about a couple of other people. I'm going to say something about Senator McCain. Uh, Larry Echohawk and Bob Abbey, where are you? Why don't you come over here? Larry and Bob Abbey. Okay, Larry Echohawk is the Assistant Secretary for Indian Affairs. He oversees 10,000 people and works with 562 Native American tribes all over the country. And so one of our responsibilities as a government is to help do everything that we can to empower Native Americans. They are some of our very best. Uh, we were on the Navajo Reservation yesterday. Where we went to the memorial for the Navajo, Navajo Code Talkers from uh, World War II. And so we have a major responsibility to help our Native American communities, and I am committed to it, the President is committed to it, and, and Larry Echohawk will help us get that done. Now, Bob Abbey, Bob Abbey is Director of the Bureau of Land Management. He oversees 258 million acres all across this country. Uh, many of those acres are involved with mining activities, some with oil and gas, some with recreation. But they're part of the team that I have at the Department of Interior that will help us make sure that we do the best job we can for the country. So give them a round of applause. Uh, uh, I'm here, frankly, because uh, Senator McCain said, you have to go to Superior. And, uh, When you drive down the main street of Superior, he says, you'll know why I want you to go to Superior, because we need jobs in Superior, okay? And so there's not a day, and I have watched him uh, very carefully. I consider him to be a dear, dear friend of mine. There's not a day that goes by in the United States Senate when he is not out there being a champion for the people of Arizona and the people of the nation. The people of Arizona are very, very fortunate to have him as your U.S. Senator. And Ann Kirkpatrick, she represents this area. She's uh, new to the United States House of Representatives, uh, but the, even in the very short time that I had spent with her this morning as we were traveling around, talking about the importance of jobs and education and uh, making sure that uh, Arizona has opportunities, I can guarantee you she's gonna be a champion for her district and for this community. So give her a round of applause. Let me be brief and just make a couple of very quick comments. Uh, for me, this is a fact-finding mission. I have come to Superior, I've spent time at uh, Resolution Copper, spent time with uh, the leaders of the Indian tribe this morning to talk to them about their perspective. And we will continue to look at uh, how we can move uh, forward with uh, all of the different interests that are at stake here. And there are many interests, uh, but that doesn't mean that those interests are incompatible interests. You have the interests, I think, represented by all of you who are in this uh, very diverse and very wonderful gathering here in Superior today. And that is, you care a lot about your community and about its future, about the future of job creation uh, here in this community. And that's a very important value. And we, uh, because of the federal interests and land ownership, will have some uh, significant role in terms of making sure that we bring honor to that value. There's another value, and uh, that's a value that we were addressing with uh, Native American leaders earlier this morning, where they have concerns about some of the sacred sites, or the sacred sites which have been uh, celebrated by them for, for time immemorial, and wanting to find also economic opportunities for the Native American communities, and trying to find educational opportunities for some of the young people from, uh, from those tribes. So what I am here to tell all of you today is that uh, we will work very hard uh, the United States of America working with uh, the uh, uh, senators and working with uh, the members of the congressional delegation to see how we can find a path forward, a path forward that honors uh, the values that I have seen uh, represented uh, here in Superior today. And with that, what I'd like to do is to turn it over to uh, Congressman Kirkpatrick for a few comments and then we'll take uh, some questions, whatever might be on your mind with respect to the land exchange. Congressman Kirkpatrick. Thank you. Thank you so much. to host the secretary and uh, it means so much to us to have you here uh, you know it hearing from you today is going to be a very important part of this uh, many of you know that i was born in mcnary uh, which is on the white mountain apache nation and and when i was born there it was a thriving economy uh, we had the sawmill uh, lots of jobs i saw that town go from 3,000 people to 300. so i know what it's like when the jobs go away it is not good i introduced 
the land exchange bill in the house, the house version, uh, after spending about a year and a half meeting with many of you, talking with you about your interests, uh, changing the bill, the draft that I introduced to address your concerns. And I appreciate very much our Apache neighbors who are here today because I understand the significance of your land and how important that is in protecting the environment. I also, un also understand how important jobs are. And the Copper Basin Jobs Project is something that we've got to have. We've got to have some hope and opportunity for our young people uh, so that they can live in their communities. They, uh, they already pulled the mic on me, so maybe I should be quick. <laughs> anyway, I uh, don't want to take up too much time. Thank you very much for being here today.